Ah, uh, you already know, man. Young Piff coming straight from Perth. Damn, boy. On all bars matter, man. Holding shit down. Where I'm from, man, it's regular, it's chill, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna say this shit soft, I ain't gonna say this shit super hood on some killing shit every day, but everywhere there's real niggas too, so my hood certified, everything good, you feel me? There's real niggas everywhere, you already know that. I consider myself a get money nigga, so I was just like, man, you never know, like, we could might make money off this music shit, you know what I mean? Like, maybe if I take it serious and shit. And I always had, like, that little idea, like, man, I want to fuck with it. I knew I had the style, I knew I had the look, and I knew I could get it, you know what I mean? So, I had it tucked, my nigga, like, you feel me? I had the idea, I played around with it for a long, long, long time, bro. Because I'm a person that I want to be a perfectionist. If my shit not up to par, bro, I'm not dropping the song. If it's not a hundred, I'm not dropping it. So, I went through that phase, you know what I mean? I keep it funk as a lot of artists that might not keep it funk with you. It's that phase that you're not that good at. Like when you first start off on something, you're not gonna be that great. You know what I mean? And God willing, I ain't released none of them tracks. I went through that stage, and um, right now I'm to the point where I'm taking it serious. You know, I'm putting my breath behind it, and I'm going 100% with this shit right now. You know what I mean, I got a lot of shit coming up. This one touching a different part. I got this record, it's coming now, it's gonna be a single, man. It's called In the Streets. I never telling a man, never taking the stand. You feel me? By that, man, that D, <laughs> it's about loyalty. I mean, I don't give a fuck if you're in the streets or if you're a working man. Like, you never fold on your people. Like, you got to keep it a hundred. Like, be loyal and try to help people. And I mean, that's what I'm about, man. I'm loyal and all my niggas going to be a hundred. Like, I don't got time for that. And I'm never I'm never telling a man, like, none of that shit. If you're in the streets, you, you, you do a crime or whatever the case may be, and you get caught, bro, you got to take that to the face. You know what I mean? You took that risk. Ain't nobody put no gun to your head and say you got to do this shit. At the time, it was time to ride. And that was the time, so it is what it is. You either on the curb or you on it. So I'm just a hundred all the way. Like, you don't even gotta be on some street shit all the time. It's just, I'm gonna be real. There's rules to the game, how I'm bend the rock break. You feel me? But that's just like, there's certain things, bro, you can't pass that line, my nigga. Like, you really not. Like, it's little shit. Like, an example, like, my man's. Got a girl, that's just shorty, my nigga. I ain't passing that boundary. Like, I'm not in there, you feel me? There's rules to the game, you don't bend it, you break, you feel me? It could be that, it could be street shit, but everything don't gotta be street shit, my nigga. It's just codes of life. Like, what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. And I'ma always do what's right, you know what I mean? Hustle to my toes bleed, got a family to feed. I can see the desperation in my mother's eyes. Another body, another problem, another homicide, yeah. <laughs> so by that, bro, that line's powerful to me, my nigga. I love my mom. That's my number one woman, you heard? So, with that, it's just like, I'm Dominican, you feel me? So, my mom, bro, she be watching a lot of news and shit, and you see a lot of fucked up shit. Like, yo, old boy got clapped, old boy this and that, and she start thinking, like, that shit could happen to me type shit, you know what I mean? So, it's crazy. So, I be thinking about that shit, man, and I'm trying to strive for the better. But... Every Sunday, I go see my mom and shit, we chop it up. And I was just like, when I said that line, that I could see the desperation in her eyes and shit, is because I'm very I'm real to my mother. Like, she know what I'm doing. She know what I'm involved with. Like, she know I'm in the streets. I mean, she ain't with it, but I try to break it down to her and tell her, like, really what it is. Like, I'm going to be poor or I ain't going to have it. And the crazy thing is, I do work on the five. I do everything. And... A lot of people might not think this shit, but I got a bachelor's, bro, and all that shit, bro. I went to college. I got a IT degree, all that shit, bro. Like, I did the right path, and it's like the shit wasn't clicking. At the end of the day, like, jobs not hiring, you feel me? So my mom just wanted me to do the right thing, but she understand where I'm coming from, you know what I mean? So I could see how she felt, like, fuck, like, my son could be the next victim, you know what I mean? So that's what I mean by that line. It be hard, but at the end of the day, like, my mom's my number one. 
to my baby girl, you feel me? And it's all love, but I just do what I gotta do to make it to the next level. Whatever I gotta do, I'ma do it. It's just, it's in God's hand, you feel me? Like, this is the plan, I can't control it, you know what I mean? But I did try to do the right thing. I'm basically juggling, bro. Whatever I gotta do, I'ma do it. So that's what I mean by that. But you already know, shout out to my moms. She be tweaking. <laughs> I'm chasing money, ain't no separation. No second guessing, I'm on my destination. So with that, bro, it's just like at the end of the day, like I'm on my get money shit, you feel me? Like without money, you really can't do nothing, bro. And that's reality, like I don't care what nobody's saying, money not everything, all this shit. Like I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Like I gotta get this bag to do what I gotta do. And for these artists, like I'm up and coming, but I'm a person, bro, like I do research, like I know what's up with this, you feel me? Like, if you ain't trying to waste no bread, bro, you ain't going to make it in this game. Like, you might as well just retire. Like, you're not going to make it in this music shit. <laughs> a lot of things, you're investing in yourself, bro. That's how you got to see it. If you're not trying to put money behind yourself, you ain't going to make it. Like, you can might as well just retire. So, like, ain't no second guessing. Like, it's either 100 or it's 50. It's like, I'm 100. Like, I already know what it's going to take. For me, hard work beats talent, baby, at the end of the day. I might not be the best rapper, but I work harder than everybody, you feel me? I watch a lot of um motivational videos. I learn, I get inspired from a lot of different things, you feel me? I stay motivated, and I stay in front of a lot of positive things, you feel me? I saw an interview from Young Jeezy, you feel me? Snowman, you already know what time it is. And um, yeah, bro, when he first started off, like, he was just, um grinding harder than a lot of these people in the industry, you feel me? Hey, maybe he was not the best rapper, but he was working hard. When you sleeping, he working. And I was watching these videos, I always watch videos, Nipsey Hussle, Young Jeezy, people I fuck with that will inspire me to get where I gotta be, you feel me? I be books, everything. I mean, like that, I'm a hood nigga, but that day, hey, I'm on the mission. I'm trying to strive for greatness, you know what I mean? So. That's that. If you're not really trying to put bread in this shit and invest your time and look at things in a negative aspect, you ain't going to make it in this game, Slime. Like, most of this shit is putting bread, believing in yourself, and getting it popping. Like, <laughs> if you don't believe in yourself, bro, and you don't want to put money, like, it's not just about recording a song, putting it on SoundCloud, and thinking it's going to pop off. Like, there's a lot to this, so I'm going to keep it small, but trust me, I know the game and I know what's really what's up. You got to get that bag, my bro, and do what you got to do. Chapin ain't dead. Got to use your head and use your legs. <laughs> this shit's simple, bro. Like, I'm 25, you feel me? I ain't the youngest, I ain't the oldest, but the young niggas is lazy. These niggas want to be in the crib. They don't want to do shit, but they want the best sneakers. They want the best shit. Chapin ain't dead, my nigga. Chapin on. You just gotta go get it, my nigga. You feel me? Use your brains. How I'ma do this? How I'ma get this money? How I'ma make this move? And use your legs, my nigga. Get up your feet. Stop being lazy, bro. It's nice, man. I haven't slept, nigga. Just to get the bag and do what I gotta do. It's a sacrifice, you feel me? Ain't nothing gonna come to you, bro. You gotta work for it. Y'all niggas is crazy, my nigga. See the next nigga, he got his shit. He doing his thing. And you just dead mad. Like, nigga, you ain't working hard as me, my nigga. When you sleeping, I'm working. When you sleeping, I'm thinking. When you sleeping, I'm recording. Nigga, I'm out here putting the 100%. I'm willing to die for this shit. That's the difference. So that's what I mean by that, man. And especially this young generation with this technology and all this fuck shit, man. We got to bring this shit back to the basics, my nigga. Leg work, my nigga. You go on the streets, my nigga, sell your mixtape, my nigga. Fuck it, my nigga. Be on the block, my nigga. Be authentic, I mean? These niggas not doing that no more, my nigga. And I'm like, young nigga, but I got an old soul. Like, I'm gonna do all that shit. And I'm gonna bring it back. You feel me? Like, it's not all about that. Y'all niggas just complaining about life. At the end of the day, nobody gotta give you nothing. There's no handouts, my nigga. You gotta get it yourself. If you're not gonna get it, nobody gonna give it to you, man. So use your head and use your fucking legs, my nigga. Like, I'm tired of niggas complaining. I'm in the same predicament as a lot of niggas. But my mindset different, my grind different, so I'm getting different results, you feel me? But that shit just get me mad. Use your head and use your fucking legs. Trapping ain't dead, my nigga, you heard? <laughs> no testifying, y'all niggas in denial. 
about to fuck the game up, go and check the files. You feel me? So that shit, bro, is like kind of like a metaphor type shit. You can look at it in different type of ways. But basically, what I'm saying is like, don't get it fucked up. Like, nigga, I'm coming in the game. Like, you could go check the files. When I say files, bro, it's like your research. Like, niggas know, like, pay for 100. Pay for ain't gonna do no bullshit. Pay for ain't rapping about no bullshit he don't do. Pay for ain't acting. Go check the files, my nigga. I'm coming. You feel me? I've been laid back. I'll be 100. I'm a laid back person. I don't like being on the scene, none of that. I'm in the back, in the cut, you feel me? But whenever I gotta apply pressure, nigga, it's a different ball game, you feel me? So don't ever get it twisted, like, I'm coming. This is what I wanna do. I'm putting my own bread behind myself. I'm independent. Ripping and running records is the label. See the sweater, is mine, it's my shit. It's about ownership, my nigga. R.P. Nipsey Hustle, he said the best. And that nigga really inspired me with a lot of shit. Before his death and all that, I was on that nigga. Marathons, all the old Jones that niggas don't even know about. You feel me? So, I'm on a different wave. I already know what time it is, my nigga. I'm grinding on a hundred. Niggas ain't stopping me. I'm about to take over the game real quick on some easy shit. I'm taking over the internet and I'm going to do it right. You feel me? My purpose is to show y'all niggas the in and outs of this shit and show y'all how shit really be. No false shit, no fuck shit. Only a hundred, bro. That's why I'm coming. You already fucking know. Yo, ain't no man, it's Young Piff, Perth Dam in New Jersey, man. Shout out to all bars matter. Niggas holding shit down with the gang. Yo, ain't no, follow me on Instagram, man. Piff underscore Dolo. I'm out here with my shooter, nigga Ross. We're shaking, man. Tell these niggas how we on, man. Man, you already know, my brother. We out here trying to make it. At the end of the day, it's positivity. Find hard, my nigga. We try to make it every way possible, my nigga. So you already know. We're from Jersey, trying to represent. Just do the same thing with your friend, with your artist, and hold this shit the fuck down, because that's what real niggas do, bro. Yo, ain't no. Gang shit only, man. Fuck this jersey. Ah!